Hello friends in this we will discuss how to delete invoice. Suppose friends we want to remove invoice from this list of invoice. Here we can see delete button. So here we can see in delete button it we have store dynamic order it value and in this we have define one class delete also. So when we have click on this button then it will ask user to remove this invoice. If user give permission to delete invoice then it will remove invoice from this list. For this we have go to query code and here we have write dollar with class name delete with click method. So when we have click on delete button then this code will execute. Under this first we have write ed variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this method we have write ed, this code will fetch value with attribute and store under this variable. Then after we have write of statement and condition we have write confirm pop box with message like are you sure you want to remove this, it will pop up confirm box with this message with ok and cancel button if user click on ok button then it will execute if block of code otherwise no action will be taken. Suppose user click on OK button then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write window.location.href is equal to invoice.php question mark delete is equal to 1 and it is equal to value of it variable. So page will redirect to this link. Now we have moved to write PHP code and here we have write if statement and under condition we have writes a function with dollar get delete variable and set dollar get it variable. This condition will check if value of both variable is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write delete query like delete from order table where order it is equal to double colon id. Now we want to execute this delete query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this method we have pass value to query in array. This method will execute query and delete particular order it data from order table. Same way we want to remove data from order item table also, so we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under the statement we have write delete from order item table where order it is equal to double colon it. Now we want to execute this delete query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this method we have pass value to query in array. This method will execute query and delete particular order it data from order table. After removing all data from table, so now we want to redirect page to invoice.php. So we have write header statement and under this we have write location with invoice.php. This code will redirect page to this invoice.php page. Now we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends we can see when page has been loaded into browser then we can see invoice data on web page in table format. So here we can see delete button. So when we have click on delete button then message box has been popped with message like are you sure you want to remove this. If we have click on cancel button then no action has been taken. So we have again click on delete button then after again pop message box. But now we have click on ok button. After click on ok button page has been refreshed and that invoice has been removed from list of invoice. 
that means our code on how to remove invoice code has been working. So now we have moved to write code on generate PDF file of invoice by using PHP DOM PDF library. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.